Parents of a fourth grader say he was forced to watch other students eat while he was observing a religious fast, and they want somebody held accountable. CBS 2's Valerie Castro with the family story. Like most kids his age, Ilyas Aljami likes to play video games. His favorite book, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. But his parents say what happened to him at school in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn earlier this year is something no nine-year-old should ever have to go through. She humiliated him. She emotionally abused him. She used his religion as a form of punishment. Aljami's parents say in May, during the month of Ramadan, a holy time for Muslims when they fast each day, their son was punished by a school staff member at PS 264. She claimed that my son was laughing or mocking her in some way, which he wasn't. So she stated to him in front of all his friends, since you are laughing, I will make you sit in the cafeteria. Muslim students otherwise spend the lunch break in a different room. Just to imagine my son sitting in that cafeteria alone, scared. Helpless. I felt sad, depressed, and angry. I, I, I mostly felt sad because I have, to, I have to sit there, watch people eat while I'm fasting. The parents say they immediately went to the principal, who in turn reported it to the Department of Education. But six months later, even after Ilias's parents sent him to a different school, no one has been held accountable. What she did to my child was not right. The Council on American Islamic Relations has filed a civil rights complaint against the Department of Education on the family's behalf, calling the incident faith based administrative bullying. The DOE issued a statement saying, We take any allegation of discrimination seriously and will review the complaint. The family hopes they see action soon. We need some sort of correction to be made with the Department of Education and staff members so that this incident doesn't occur again. The civil rights complaint will be reviewed by the New York City Commission on Human Rights. The outcome could include new training for the Department of Education and the payment of civil penalties and emotional distress damages. In Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News.